Hi everyone. Okay, let's solve this. Square root of x plus 2x equals 3. And we are looking for the value of x. Okay, if you are good at mathematics, you will look at this and know the value of x. But imagine that you are to solve it. What are the steps you are going to follow? Okay, so let's do that. The first step, take this to the other side. And before I do that, let me ensure that you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so if you do not subscribe, I will not continue. Yes, I'm serious. Okay, yes, you have subscribed. Okay, that's good. Now, from here, we're going to have root x alone as I want to move this to the other side. So I'll write 3 minus 2x. Taking the first step. Now, the second step is to square both sides of the equation. Then here now we're going to have 3 minus 2x. Now this will be squared again. Remember this and this can go. Now x is alone and it's what? 3 minus 2x in two places. Now we expand. How do we do the expansion? Okay, just look at what I'm about to do. x into 3. 3 will multiply everything here. 3 minus 2x. Close it. Here we have minus 2x. And I'll multiply 3 minus 2x again. So that if we proceed now, we have x to be 3 times 3. That is 9 minus 6x. Minus this times this is um, 6x again. Then this times that. That will give us plus 4 x squared let me go over this again 3 times 3 9 3 times minus 2x minus 6x minus 2x times 3 minus 6x okay minus 2x mi times minus 2x will give us plus 4x squared we'll now rearrange this is x equals 9 minus 6x minus 6x is minus 12x then we have plus 4x squared. Okay, so I'll write 4x squared minus 12x. Now this becomes minus x and that is our plus 9 equals 0. Right? Okay. And if that is the case, we have 4x squared minus 12x minus x is minus 13x then we have plus 9 which is equal to 0 okay and um let's continue from here we normally normally use the formula for this so let's go back and use our formula our a is 4 our b is what Okay, minus 13, that is correct. And then what is our C? Our C is what? The constant, right? And that is what? 9. Now, can you remember the formula of hand? The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, now our x is going to be minus minus is positive, so we'll just write 13 plus or minus. Then we have b squared, which is going to be minus 13, there's a square on it. Then minus 4 times a is what? 4 again, then times 9, because our c is 9, we multiply by 9. This is multiplication, if I like, I turn this, okay. Now, this is over 2 times 4 because a is 4. Now, let us continue. We have um, x to be 13 plus or minus the square of 
minus 13 squared will still give us positive 69 minus 4 times 4 times 4 times 9 that's going to be 16 times 9 right okay and um, we have 16 times 9 let's do it here okay 6 times 9 is 54 then 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 that is 1 4 to 4 so here I will now write 144 right as we divide by 2 times 8 2 times 4 is 8 now what should I do this is my x being equal to 13 plus or minus square root of look at one thing that was that is going to confuse learners this and this are both perfect squares so they will be tempted to get the square root of 169 and then the square root of 144 and subtract but that is going to be wrong the first the next thing is what subtract what you have in there before you take the square root so 169 minus 144 is 25 and this is divided by what by 8 right let us continue okay so we are continuing our x will now be 13 plus or minus square root of 25 is 5 then this is over 8 and this is 2 in 1 because of the plus or minus so x will now be 13 plus 5 over 8 or 13 minus 5 over what over 8 okay so if we continue x will be equal to 13 plus 5 is 18 over 2 or from there 13 minus 5 is going to be 8 then we have 8 over 8 by the way this is 8 too okay now our x is let's reduce this to a lower term um, 2 into 18 is 9 and 2 into 8 is 4 or 8 over 8 that will give us 1 now which of these solutions do we pick remember the given equation is not a quadratic equation but it led us to a quadratic equation so the answer the solution should be one the equation is square root of x plus 2x equals um, 3 okay let's use let's test the whole number first we have square root of 1 plus 2 times 1 square root of 1 is 1 plus square um 2 times 1 is 2 and that is equal to 3 look at it here and there so this means that it's only the second solution that satisfies x equals 1 satisfies and then x equals 9 over 4 does not satisfy